What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to find thousands of niches for notebooks on KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you how to literally find thousands and thousands of niches for notebooks. Now, there's literally loads of different ways that you can do niche research to find niches. The way that I'm going to show you is a way that I've shared a few times here on the channel because it's so simple. And once you understand this, you're literally going to find niches everywhere. Now, what we're going to use is Amazon, just here, and also Google. Now, we use Google to find lists, lists in lots of different niches. In this case, we can see lists of hobbies, because hobbies, let me go off there, are a niche. So all these just here, knitting, writing, photography, gardening, dance, drawing, sewing, hiking, all of these are niches, and they're niches for notebooks. Now, what you want to do, like I said, you want to find these lists. In this instance, again, we used list of hobbies. We found all of these, and now we want to go back over to Amazon to see if there's demand for that type of book. And to see if there's demand, it's actually pretty simple. We go on all departments, just here, type in notebook. And now let's take one of those hobbies. So let's go back to here. We could take knitting, so a knitting notebook. Let's type that in, knitting notebook. And now Amazon is auto-populating this just here. If they auto-populate, that means there's demand because that's how people are searching. When people search a certain keyword, Amazon will auto-populate it. So we can see knitting notebook, that's what people are actually searching for. And we can go back over to here, go through writing, photography, gardening, dance, drawing, and all of these different hobbies. We can go down to here, click on this website. We can go through all the websites, looking at different hobbies, and then using Amazon to see if there's demand. Pretty, pretty simple. But hobbies is just one of lots of different niches that there are for notebooks. So we actually can do hobbies, sports, animals, pets, jobs, food, plants, flowers, and the list goes on. All of these niches just here are niches for notebooks. And there's literally thousands. So we looked at hobbies. We can go through all these different websites, looking at the lists. We can even do that for sports. So we can go to Google, type in a list of sports, and then go through all of these different websites. Look right here. What are the 15 most popular sports? So if we click on here, we have football, cricket, hockey, tennis, volleyball. These are all niches that you can create your notebooks around. So if we go back to Amazon, take away knitting and do volleyball. So I spelt that wrong. So let's do that again. Volley ball notebook we can see this is what people are actually searching for and that one sport is one out of hundreds so again just with sports alone you're going to find so many niches but we can do it with animals as well how many animals are there there's literally hundreds if not thousands of animals that you can create notebooks around then we have pets pets and animals pretty much the same thing Apart from people are more passionate about their pets than animals, so keep that in mind as well. You're always better off creating your notebooks around pets just because of that fact alone. People are more passionate about their pet pets than some random animal. Now, we can also do list of jobs. How many different types of jobs are there out there? Literally thousands. And people are looking for notebooks in these different types of jobs. For an example, you'd look at teacher, teacher notebook. So we could do that, teacher 
notebook. And we can see we have all these different keywords. So list of jobs is just another good way to find lots of different niches. We can also do list of foods. So believe it or not, most foods are a niche, especially popular foods like pizza. So pizza, that's not spelt right, pizza, notebook. We can see people are searching for this because Amazon's auto populated it. But again, this is just one of thousands of niches when it comes to foods. Then we can do plants. So plants are niches as well. And so are flowers. Flowers and plants, kind of the same thing, but there's just so many different niches. Just in what I showed you here, which with um, hobbies, sports, animals, pets, jobs, foods, plants and also flowers there's literally thousands and thousands of niches so if you struggle with niche research try this out try using google and lists so again we can do hobbies sports animals pets jobs food plants flowers and the list goes on all of these are niches and remember especially with hobbies there's so many different types look fishing walking so a walking notebook or a walking let's try that walking notebook people are searching for that but it's probably not something that i would do but my point being there's just loads of different hobbies sports niches are absolutely everywhere now how do you actually see if there's proper demand for a niche well it's pretty easy we can use amazon just here and we can also use for free spt's chrome extension that self-publishing titans kdp niche research extension now if you want to check that out you can always get there by going to selfpublishingtitans.com and you can download this extension at no extra cost it's completely free now what this extension does is help you find profitable keywords so we can use a list of google or lists of google for lists of hobbies sports and all of these other things once we found that niche and we can see that there's demand over here on amazon let's just type in something to do with food let's do a pineapple pineapple notebook so once we've actually found a niche and we've plugged it in and we can see that amazon is auto populating it which means there's people searching for that we can see that just here pineapple notebook or pineapple notebook for school that's a little bit more specific so from here what i would do is just click on there and then let spt's chrome extension do its thing and then tell me if that niche is profitable so here it is it's just loading up for a second we're just going to pause the video so we can hurry this up and bam there we go so the spt chrome extension is giving us a score of 28 now to put that into perspective anything in between 50 and 60 is good anything above 60 is even better so a score of 28 doesn't really look that good not for pineapple notebook for school now if we take away the school just like so we can see there's a lot more different keywords so what i would do is go through those keywords if it's going to show up why isn't it doing it so let's do that again so we can see a lot more different keywords. I would go through these to see if they're profitable. And if they're profitable, I would more than likely go ahead and create that book. But for Pineapple Notebook for kids, no, for school, that's what this keyword was. It doesn't look that great. The score is 28. Number of results, really low. Looks really good. Average reviews, looks okay as well. And that average BSR is not actually too bad so if we looked through here we could make a better decision but again pineapple notebook is one of thousands of different niches which you can check out just by going through hobbies sports animals pets jobs food plants and flowers because remember there's literally thousands of niches just within these alone your job is to go through all the niches see if there's demand and to see if those keywords or niches 
are actually profitable. And remember, that's what takes the most time. But that's not what most people want to do. So the better research you can do, the better niches you can find, and the better chance you have of actually selling your books. But give this a go. Come over to Google, start typing in hobbies, sports, animals, pets, foods, jobs, plants, flowers, and start finding those niches. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.